Hello there. Now today I've got this Polaroid ID1660 HD camcorder on the bench. It came with some other Argos returns a while ago, so I thought I'd have a go at saving it from the skit. Basically, the problem is that it's not charging the battery. If we run it off USB power, the I don't know whether you can see that on camera, but the charge light is flickering quite quickly and it will allow us to power it up. There we go, it's no card, but there you go, it runs off USB power. Um, seems to function okay if you're running off the USB. But as soon as you remove it from the device, it's dead. It just doesn't charge. Um, shows no effort in charging whatsoever. So we're going to get it open and see if we can replace the internal battery. I know it's only a cheap device, but I'd sooner try and save it than just skip it. So let's get it open and see what's inside. Now to open it, it looks as though we've got a screw here on the bottom. I'll take that out. Put that to one side. And then I can see another screw here. Now this could have been apart before because I think it should have a little rubber bumper on there that stops the screen from banging down and it looks as if it's been either well it could have just fell off I suppose there is one on there or some of it remaining but I don't think now there's no screw underneath that one what's left of it anyway so they're the only screws that I can see so Let's see if we can tempt it up. Uh -huh. There we go. Uh, somebody's been in this before me. I've just seen that the speaker connections are detached from the board and it looks as if someone's been soldering there. Hmm, interesting. So what we're dealing with battery wise. Well there's a little battery. It's a 503040. Now I haven't got out like that. So I'll have to have a look on eBay and see what we can find. Now before I do go ordering anything, I'll just make sure that there isn't any other fault with it and make sure that the battery is receiving some voltage. So we've got the USB plugged in down here and I'm just going to put my meter probes on the plus and negative for the battery and see if there's a battery voltage from the board. Yeah, 4.07 4.10. So if I remove that charger from it, we'll just pop back down there and see what we're getting. Now oh, it's dis discharging quite quickly. What a bit of charge is there? So the battery is slightly swollen, so I'm assuming that it is tated. So, yep, we'll crack on and get one ordered. Well, I've had a look on eBay and I've come up with these. The £6.70 each with delivery, but they are in the UK. So I'll order one and we should have it in two to three days. As soon as it arrives, we'll get back to finishing the video. Right, we're about a week later now. And our battery's turned up. Let's have a look at it. 
503040 503040 okay so it just looks like a case of swapping them over right so let's get the soldering iron organized and we'll need some double sided tape or something to stick the new battery down stop it rattling about in the case right to fit the battery it looks as if we're going to have to take the board from the casing just one screw there another one down here I don't see any more so let's have a look is it just gonna pop out Ah, there we go. Ah, now we've got a, a connector down here that you need to be careful of. Can we take that off? Yeah, just take that bit of tape up. And it's got the little lever just there. And we pop up and then it'll just pop out like that. Just leaving easy access to those battery connections oh be aware that that will be a zoom wide angle little button will drop out right let's get the soldering iron right well i've just put a little plus sign to indicate the positive is on this side not that I'd forget, but just in case a bit of fresh solder on might help. Okay. That's one. That's the other. Right, we'll clean them now. Pop that over there a second. Get a bit of braid on that now. Okay. That's that. Now while we're here, we need to sort those speaker connections out. Maybe in your case you won't need to, but just apply a bit of flux to that. And then we'll just hit them with some more braid. See what we get. Focus. That's it. They're clear. We can see through them. Okay. So we can start thinking about attaching the new battery. Right, it should switch. No, no, I can't switch it on because I've got the screen connected. Okay, so I think at that. We can start thinking about putting that back in because the speaker connection solder can be soldered on the top of the board so I don't need to get at the bottom of it. 
Right, so we just need to remove the old battery from the case. So I think it's just going to be a case of pulling it out. Oh, there we go. It's out. Okay. Oh, I've just realised somebody's been chopping at this. I would imagine whoever looked at this before me has opened the top of this where the tape is to insert some probes. Hmm. Okay, so let's get it reassembled. So need to slide that into the can we see yeah, slide that into the socket like that and then push that little hinge door back down so it clamps back onto the ribbon connection and it's just a case of fertling about getting this in um, Let's just see if that turns on. Yeah. Can we see that? Yep, yeah, it's turned on. So that's um, it's working. Right. Let's sort this out before we stick it down. Um, A little bit tight on that. Oh, there you are. That'll do. Right, let's get some double sided tape or something and stick that down. Right, well, we've got some of this double sided tape. Let's see if we can use this to. Um, Secure that battery. Okay, so we'll stick it like that, I guess, and then just trim off the excess. Mm, scissors about as sharp as butter. Okay, so I'll peel the Oh, peel the pack off. There we go. And then get this in position. Right, let's just tuck these cables out of the way. That's it, that'll do. Right, so we just need to attach the speaker again to these two connections at the top. So let's have a look at the. Well, first of all, let's make sure that that speaker. Is working. Just stick a seven point six ohms, seven point. Yeah, so it's an eight ohm speaker, and it appears to be good. Right. So we'll just bear those cables. Okay. 
Nehmen wir bitte für Zinn hin. Dann nehmen wir los, so. Hop a bit of solder. Onto the pads. Okay. So let's get it the right way about. And it comes off like that, so polarity wise it doesn't matter so much on this. Okay, if we switch it on, we should hear something, I'm sure. Yeah, that's it. Switch it off. Okay, just a case of reassembly. Uh, So that just pops back. And that appears to be it. Put our screws back in. first and the one in there get in and that's it job done. Let's just have a look what that charge light does. Now that there's a decent battery in it. See if it still flickers. No. Now that the battery's been replaced. Oh actually it's oh, wait a minute, turn it off. Ah, yeah, now that it's got a decent battery, when it's charging, it's, it is steady lit, as before it was flickering. So yeah, that appears to have cured it. Another thing saved from the scrap bin. I hope that's been of some use to you. Many thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one.